In Upshur County, West Virginia, things are timeless. The farms and their lazy livestock, the clear flowing streams, and the hills and mountains, they seem to never change, save this one. I just happened to be out one day when I was working and went by the mine, and I saw there was a dozer up on the side of the hill shoving dirt down over the portal, closed the mine, all the buildings are gone. This is what was once the Sago Deep Mine. For three days in 2006, the world's eyes were fixed on this tiny little town in the Mountain State's high coal country. I remember it just as vivid as it happened this morning. It would begin January 2nd with a rumble from deep inside the earth. It was just, just real loud boom and then the pictures and everything just started to shook. At approximately 6.30 a.m. this morning, an incident occurred at the Sago Number 1 mine that appeared to result in an underground explosion. Former Upshur County Sheriff Virgil Miller heard what had happened on the police radio and left his home, heading for the mine. It was just a dark gray smoke just rolling out of the portal of the mine, and I knew then that this was bad. Unaccounted for were 13 miners. We don't know exactly where the crew is, but it's somewhere between 11,000 and 13,000 feet. Several of Miller's friends were on that missing crew. I knew Fred Ware was there, Junior Hamner, Marty Bennett, you know, I knew those three. Miller watched rescue crews funnel in and out of the mine. 41 hours into the operation, word came of a miracle. The miners were all alive. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Waiting at nearby St. Joseph Hospital was Virgil Miller. Survivor Randy McCloy's ambulance was the only one to arrive. There should have been more, many more. I'm saying, you know, this is not right. Something's, something's not right here. And then, then I got the phone call that they, in fact they were dead. In 41 hours, emotions went from fear to hope to joy Thank God. to painful rage. To My dad, Jim Bennett, is Randy, dead. Randy. I don't know that I've ever been anywhere and saw such a mood swing. And for Virgil Miller, pain over the loss of his friends, especially crew leader Fred Ware. Fred, uh, you, you saw Fred, he always had a smile on his face. Uh, he, was, he was a good guy. Like I said, we worked together at another mine. The funerals, the investigations, the fines against the company would come in the days, months, and years that would follow. The world's eyes moved on to the next big tragedy. And Upshur County? Like all places that have a disaster, we'll get by. We'll make it. But moving on and making it are not the same thing as healing. I think as long as our generation to live through that's alive, this, this community will never heal. You know, it'll, that'll always be there. In Sago, West Virginia, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.